You need to change these settings now to boost FPS, lower input delay and fix lags or stutters in the new Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. Hey everyone, it's Rek here. So Season 4 of Fortnite has dropped and a lot of the settings get reset with major updates. Hence why I'm going to be showing you very useful settings and tweaks that you can use to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, lower input delay and fix any and all stutters in Fortnite Season 4. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching these videos without even subscribing. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. The very first thing that we're gonna be doing is changing some of the Fortnite config settings. In order to do that, open up your start menu and search for run. Once it opens up, click on it, then you go ahead and type in percentage, app data, percentage, then go ahead and click on OK. Once you're here, go into the app data folder, open up the local folder, then once this opens up, scroll down till you can see the Fortnite game folder. Open it up, go into saved, config, windows client and then right click on the game user settings, go into properties, make sure that read only is unchecked, hit ok, right click once again and click on edit. For here first of all go ahead and set the full screen mode to zero because it might be reset for a lot of you guys so yeah make sure to do that. Then for B motion blur go ahead and set it to false, show grass also false, latency tweak 1 false and latency tweak 2 to 2. All of these ray tracings should be set to false and zero so I'm gonna go ahead and do that false zero and then false again and then zero again go ahead and keep scrolling down until you see the resolution go ahead and set it to whatever you want it really doesn't matter but the lower the resolution the higher the frames you'll get and then comes the scalability groups now inside of here just go ahead and copy all of these settings set the view distance to 2 resolution quality to 100% but if you want even more FPS go ahead and set this to 83% uh, but other than that just go ahead and set all of these to zero hit file hit save close out of this right click properties click on read only hit apply ok and now you can go ahead and close out of this up next go down into the description of this video and download the fortnite season 4 fps pack it will lead you to this website right here and the post will be somewhere here at the top if you can't find it because you're watching in the future then just go ahead and search it up inside of here it will have the same thumbnail and the title as this video but once you open up the post scroll down click on the download button which will take you to mediafire and then just go ahead and click on download if anything else opens up in the new tab just go ahead and close that because everything you require will be open in the same tab. But once we have downloaded it, it will be in a zip format so go ahead and extract it, then open it up and the first thing that you want to do is create a system restore point. Select your windows drive, click on configure, make sure it is turned on, set it to around 4 to 5 percent, hit ok, click on create and then just go ahead and name it anything. I'm gonna go ahead and name it rec, click on create and that's it. So now that you have created a restore point, you can go ahead and revert all of these changes and tweaks whenever you require even though they won't cause any issues but for certain people people they might. So click close, hit ok and we're gonna be starting off with disabling UAC. So right click, merge, hit yes and hit ok. Then you can go into the registry tweaks and then just go ahead and apply all of these one by one. So for the CPU speed go ahead and apply this. It's going to help with the CPU optimization obviously. Then there is the disable game DVR. Go ahead and apply both of these. Then disable the spectre and meltdown protocols. So yeah, full screen fix, hit yes, hit ok. Wake up all cores once again optimizing the CPU. So once you have applied all of these go back, go into the patch tweaks and we're gonna be running the dns clear crash this is going to go ahead and improve the ping and not only fortnite but other games as well so yeah delete log files going to go ahead and remove all of the temporary and unnecessary log files so yeah just let it run until it completes its process it might take some time depending on the amount of log files you have but once it's done it will automatically close itself so for me that took about two minutes because i had a lot of log files that i haven't cleared in a long time so yeah then go ahead and right click and run as admin the delete temporary files and then go ahead and press any key to continue Continue. Disable HPET once again the high precision event timer and this was made by everything tech so yeah press any key to continue. Go back into the pack open up the GPU tweaks and select the GPU that you have. For AMD users go ahead and copy all of these settings into your AMD control panel and then apply this registry file. For Intel users go ahead and open up this folder and copy these. As for the Nvidia folks go ahead and open up this one. Open up the Nvidia inspector drag the Rectantix profile to the Nvidia inspector and it's going to automatically apply all of the best settings even including the hidden settings for all of you. Once you're done with that, go back, open up the registry file, hit yes, hit ok and now you're completely done. You can go ahead and restart your PC at this point but I'm gonna go ahead and restart it after applying the power tweaks as well. So open it up, then double click on the import powerplan.reg, hit yes, hit ok and now you should be able to see this little battery icon alongside the POW file. Just go ahead and double click on it to import it, open up the power plans and then just go ahead and select the Rec OS power plan. This is all customized for the best performance and best 
as latency and now you can go ahead and double click on the disable power throttling hit yes hit ok and now just go ahead and close out of the pack go into the start menu and restart your pc once you have restarted your pc we're gonna be going ahead and disabling the full screen optimizations from the game executable so in order to do that open up the file explorer go into the drive where you have installed your fortnite so for me it's inside of here i'm gonna go ahead and open up fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then scroll down till i can see this .exe file the fortnite client win64 shipping.exe the file that has the largest file size as well right click on it click on properties and then what you need to do is open up the compatibility tab and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked also click on change high dpi settings check this set it to application hit ok apply ok and now you can close out of this now all you need to do is load up the game change any of the settings that you like and that's basically it now you can go ahead and enjoy the game if this video helps you then make sure to leave a like down below and also hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i upload a brand new video with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome